Dear analysts, dear consultants, this is my Dr. Excel and the aim of this video is to illustrate the optimal usage of index match function of Microsoft Excel. Index match is a powerful functionality of, of Microsoft Excel. It's the new generation of VLOOKUP. It's a, it's a functionality that all analysts, that all consultants need to, need to know. This, this functionality enables users to look at a data set with multiple rows, with multiple columns, and result in the figure in the cell that matches their uh, conditions. These conditions can be either at one or more columns, can be at one or more rows, and can be at any combination of uh, number of rows and, and columns. We will start illustrating our uh, index match functionality with a simple example. First of all, here we have the data set that we will analyze in this first example. We have the city, uh, all the five rows have uh, the city New York. Column B has the five sales teams that uh, we will examine. Column C has the name of the sales team head. Column D has the number of millions in dollars that each sales team managed to generate in the previous year. And the column E has the number of the members of each sales team. So what we would like to find out via our index match functionality, every time we change the sales team, from sales team A to sales team B, to conclude to a different, uh, to, the, to the specific head of this sales team. But every time we select this attribute, and now instead of uh, willing to know the name of the sales head, we will not know the, the member of the sales team, uh, this functionality illustrates how many members this sales team has. Let's let's validate that uh, the the function that we have already written works well. For example, sales team B, member of sales team are indeed six. For sales team D, again, the, the member of sales team are six. For the sales team E, the members are seven. And if we select from member of sales team, Sales in euro in uh, dollars, it's uh, almost nine million. The, the same, this this figure is much. And if you select the name of sales team head, is Andy. So this is how uh, index match is supposed to work. Let us write it together in order to to explain it. So first of all, we write index. The first parameters that we have to include at our index uh, uh, function is our map. Imagine that index is, uh, is a GPS. So this, uh, this GPS will drive us to the desired position, to the desired location. But the most important that we have to do is to upload the relevant map. So the relevant map of our example is this cells from C2 to E6. This is our map. As you can see before, uh, we would like to illustrate data regarding either name of sales head, either sales in uh, dollars or member of sales team. So our final desired cell that will appear in this specific cell will, will be among this range of cells between C2 and E6. So let me write again, index, and I select my map, C2 to E6, uh, semicolon. Now I put match. Match will uh, drive me to the specific coordinates of the map. So I need the X axis and the Ψ axis in order to conclude to the desired position, to the desired destination. So, first of all, let's go to the vertical. 
axis. This is how it works. Match what we would like to find at the vertical axis, the name of the sales team. So my lookup value regarding the vertical axis is sales team, the cell that contains the name of the relevant sales team. So at my example, cell H7, that is sales team AE at this example. But as you can see, it is adjustable. And every time that we change the sales team, the, the name of the sales team, our final output is supposed to change. So H7, semicolon, where to look? To look at these cells. Because one of these cells must contain our the name of the sales team. Again, semicolon, and then I put zero. As you can see here, the Excel helps me regarding the next, para the next parameter that I have to include. And regarding the exact match, this is how we will use index mark with exact match, we put zero. And we close the bracket. So now we have defined the map. We have defined the, the position of the vertical axis. And now we will go to, to the next axis. Again, semicolon, match, and what is the next that we would like to match? The header, one of these three headers. So we would like our cell to have as output either the name of the sales team head, either the sales in dollars, either the number of member of sales team. So this is the next adjustable cell in our example. Where to look at this cell? In these three cells. CE, uh, to e, C1 to E1. And again, same column, 0 to exact match. I close my two brackets, I press enter, and of course, my uh, output is and because, because regarding the sales team E, and the, num the name of sales team head that we are, I'm looking for is Andy. If, for example, I change this to the sales in millions, we have the almost $9 million. If I change to member of sales team, I have seven members. And if I change from sales team E to sales team 1, now that the members are eight, uh, the sales in dollars are about two millions, and the name of the head is Jack. So we illustrated the optimal usage of index match function in a simple, in a very simple example. Our this example contained a data set, and we would like to look one condition uh, at, uh, the, at the column B and one condition at the row one. This was our two conditions. Now let's move to our Next example. Here we see that we have a slightly bigger data set. So now instead of only New York, we have uh, other four cities as well, Los Angeles, Chicago, Houston, San Diego, with similar data. So each city has five sales team, sales team A, B, C, D, E, as you can see here. The number of sales team head for each sales team for each city, the sales in dollars that they generated in the previous annual year, and the member of each sales team. Now, what we would like to illustrate, to have two criteria. So, we will have to select the city and the sales team in order to find uh, the name of the head, the sales in dollars, and the member of sales team. So let me have an example. If instead of Chicago I put Los Angeles and instead of sales team A I put sales team B, we can see here Los Angeles sales team B, yes, Kate is the head, 1.3 million uh, in sales and nine uh, team members. If I go from Los Angeles to Houston and from sales team B to sales team A, E, uh, Houston sales team E, here David the head, 2.8 million in sales and 8 members of sales team. So this is the way, the, the way that uh, our uh, index match uh, function 
that looks in two columns now is supposed to work. I remind that in the previous example we were looking at one column and at one row, now we are looking at two columns. So, a little bit harder example, but uh, we will be able to understand this and go to the final example that uh, will enable us to look at multiple columns and at multiple rows. So, I will rewrite uh, the functions uh, in, in the next uh, column. So, what we are looking is, I put index. As before, we have to include, for, for example, for the name of sales team head, the map. Where are my data for name sales team head? My data are here in uh, uh, sales C2 to C16, C2 to C16. I press semicolon, match. Now, what I, I want to, what I want to look for, I don't want to look for just for Houston or just for sales team E, but I want to look to the combination of these two criteria, city and sales team. So I will put city, I will press the end, shift seven, and the sales team. Now this, this formula enables me to combine these two parameters, these two conditions, city and sales team. Semicolon, and I will go to my data. I will go, now my vertical axis has two points. So the point of city, I will select A2 to A16. Again, I will press the end, and I will go to the sales team B2 to B16. I will put, so the, the whole range of the city data and the whole range of sales team data. Again, I will put semicolon, I will put zero for having the exact match. I will close my two brackets and now it's the tricky part. I will have, instead of press enter as before, I will have to select control shift enter. So we see here that uh, our data is, is valid. David, as you can see here, Houston sales team E, yes, David is the head. But as you can see, uh, as you can see here at my formula, we had two brackets at the beginning and at the end. I didn't put this, uh, I didn't put these brackets manually, but in order to fill them in, I put control shift enter. This is the way that Excel understand that now this is not just a function, but it's an array that has to look to multiple columns. In order to do this for sales in dollars and for the number of member of sales team, I will copy my formula. I will rewrite it uh, in the next, uh, in the down cell. Again, I will put control shift enter, but now instead of looking at the uh, name of sales team head, so column C2 to C16, it has to look at D2 to D16 because now my my map for my GPS is the sales in dollars. Again, control shift enter 2.8 million. And in order to do this for the member of sales team, again, you know, I can write it from the scratch, but as long as I have it written once and it's correct, I do not have any reason to rewrite it from the scratch. I will take it, copy, I will paste it in the cell that I want. I will change it from column D to column E in order to go to the right map, to the right column, control, shift, enter, and I have the member of sales team just to see a validation. Uh, 
New York sales team E as you can see uh, we have Andy as the head 8.9 million in sales and seven members of uh, the sales team now let's go to the to the last example to the little bit harder example that now instead of looking just at two columns we also have to look at uh, the one row because it will not be at uh, distinct cells it will not be at separate cells but now it also would be customizable what what i mean we have houston as city sales team a as sales team and now we can uh, select instead of member of sales team the sales in dollars that uh, appears uh, 5 million houston sales team a 5 million which is the head it's done and the member of sales team are nine so again this is the optimal usage of this uh, of this function let us rewrite it together uh, sorry let us rewrite together at uh, at the next cell so as before index my map now uh, my data is somewhere between here between cells c2 to e16 because i don't know i do not know the row of my desired data but i also do not know the column of my desired data match as, as before i will select houston enter press uh, and sales team a and i will go to both column a and to both column b with the exact same way as before semicolon zero i will close the bracket and in order to conclude to the right column again semicolon match i will select the customizable parameter that will be member of sales team semicolon somewhere between here one of those three cells semicolon zero i close my brackets control shift enter to make it an array and the final output is nine so if i change from houston to los angeles los angeles sales team a member of sales team six and sales in million euros are 4.5 so th this is my doctor excel this is the optimal usage of index max function thank you for staying at our channel Please subscribe to our channel and like our, our video.